hi guys welcome to bad lighting and the intro to this video so tell oh, ashley are you a book channel now uh no but i do enjoy reading my objective for this video is to finish all of the books that i have started and not finished because i do that quite often um and I've got about one, two, three, four, five books that I've started and have not finished. So we're gonna be doing that today. So fun. Um, I've already started reading today. I've started reading the Night Circus. Um, again, uh, but I started at page one sixty four, and right now I'm at page two thirteen. So I'm about 50 pages in, um, and I've been reading for maybe an hour or so. Um, I'm a slow reader, bro. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, then. So, we have The Night Circus. This is on our TBR for this video because I haven't finished it. I started it back in the fall because I was like, oh, it's like Halloween, and it's like such a fun, like, fall book to read. Started it, uh, didn't finish it. Apparently, I just, I just start things and I can't finish them. I just think I have a problem. Um, the next book that we have is The Goldfinch. I've started this book. I know exactly where I'm at in this book. I just haven't continued reading it. I'm at page... I'm on page 240 of this book. So I'm actually quite a ways in here, but this is kind of a bigger book i have the audiobook that i listen to with this because i just can't pay attention to it very well this book is 771 pages long so yeah that's like 500 more pages of this book to go so that's fun um but i started this i know exactly where i'm at in this book this is on the tbr as well um the next book on our TBR that I have is Pride and Prejudice. What the heck? Ashley, I keep, like, reading Pride and Prejudice every so often. It just, like, started to get boring for, like, two seconds because, honestly, nothing was really, nothing's really happening with Elizabeth and, and Darcy, but I know that it's all, and then they just introduce, like, this new character, and I'm like, why? What is the point? Um, I'm sure all will be revealed, but I stopped reading at that point because I was like, um, new character, <sighs> break time. So, I'm on page 77 of this one, chapter 16, um, but this is the first book in my classics journey, I guess I would say. Um, this is also on our TBR. Love in Other Words, this is a romance book that I started and... Didn't get very far in, honestly. I'm at, like, page... I'm on page 23. I did not get very far in this book. Um... I don't know. This was popular a while ago. So, Love in Other Words. This is also on our TBR. This one will probably... I'll probably get through faster just because of the way that the text is. It's a romance book, so it's not going to be, like as enticing to like have to pay attention to like pride and prejudice is so hopefully that'll be super 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 easy uh an easy read but that's also on our tbr and then the last book that i've started and not finished is wuthering heights i have no idea what is going on in this book i read this book and every time i think i know what's happening it's one of those weird narratives where the nurse is telling the st the like nurse or like the housekeeper is like telling the story and so we're just like hearing this story um but i for real like i just have no connection to the characters or anything um it's kind of a sad story i'm also sick right now so that's not very fun um but yes and so also what I'm going to include in this video is also the book that I have to read for school. 
The Hobbit. I have been watching the movies with my father and mother. So we have watched the first two movies, which I think covers uh, about 12 chapters of this book. Now it's like technically cheating, like Ashley, why are you watching the movie instead of reading the book? I'm gonna read the book, okay? It's just, it'll just be easier for me to like picture it if I've already seen the movie and then reading the book. It'll just, I'll have a better understanding of it. I'll know it's because I'm a visual learner. So I'll have a better understanding of what's happening. Perfect. Okay. So The Hobbit is also on our TBR. I also have the audiobook of that one as well. Because audiobooks, I end up reading that. Have a good one, y'all. I'm going to keep reading The Night Circus today until I get tired of reading it because... It's just the way that it goes. But I will keep y'all updated on this little video or whatever that I'm doing when I decide to read books. So, that's fun. I would like to update you guys on this book that I'm currently reading. Um, I am on page 250. And I would just like to say that I'm now halfway through this book. And... The plot is now coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like, the book is now starting to pick up. Like, there is now starting to be a lot of mystery and a lot of different things happening in this book and different romances coming out. Somebody literally just died and it took them this long to get somebody to die. Like... There is something obviously wrong with the circus, and it took us this long to get to the point. Why? Why did it take us this long to get to the point to show us that there is something wrong with the circus? Like, there are all of these different subplots that are, like, kind of interesting, but they're, like, not interesting at the same time. So, basically what I'm saying is this is a slow, slow, slow book. Like, if you are not i would not recommend this to anybody doing a readathon i also would not recommend this to anybody doing a 24 hours of reading and i simply would not recommend this to anybody who does not like a slow book a slow burn of a book like a really slow burn of a book like, I would not recommend this to you. However, if you do enjoy that, if you enjoy a slower, more relaxed book, have at it, bro. It's just going to take you 250 pages to get to the point of what the book is actually about. So, yeah. I, and I still don't entirely know what this book is about. It's kind of just leaving me in, like, uh, okay, let's just keep reading, I guess. But, like, I don't know what's happening. I feel like at the end of this book, I'm just going to be left with, like, huh. This was quite a story, and I don't quite know why I read it. And I'll have to ponder it. Anyways, that's my update. So it is 1.11 in the morning on Friday morning. Um, Thursday night, Friday morning. Um, I just finished the night circus. I read about two page, 200 pages of this. And... I don't know. It's it's a gorgeous book. It honestly is a very gorgeous book. And I'm not mad about it at all. Like, this was a great book. This book had it all. It had the romance. It had a game. It had some crazy stuff. I didn't exactly know what was going on. I was just kind of mystified by the circus itself in the beginning which is maybe the point but 
I didn't really understand what was happening until about the middle of the book when I realized what was going on and I realized what was going to happen. Um, I didn't really know how it was going to end. This wasn't a book that I could predict. Um, it was a very good book. It was a very good book. I really like this book. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up giving it five stars on Goodreads because I have no standards for a five star read, but I feel like this deserves it. This was a great book. Anyways, we need to think about what the next book is going to be, and I'm thinking the next one. Just because we're getting back into reading, I'm thinking that the next one is going to be um, Love in Other Words, because it's another one of those books that's not like a lot to think about. I think we're just gonna move up in our ranks of like hard literature to read. I think next we're going to take Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren, and then we'll probably move up to The Goldfinch, and then we'll just keep going. This one, this one shouldn't take me as long to read. Um, I'm not gonna start it tonight, obviously, because it is very late, uh, and I would like to do something else, because I've been staring at pages on, uh, words on pages for way too long, so it's time for bed for me. I'll see y'all later. So I want to update you guys on my reading progress. So last night when I said that I was going to stop reading, um, I did not do that. I actually picked up, I picked up Love in Other Words and I got 160 pages into this book. I did not go to bed until like four in the morning. Uh, no big deal at all. So I finished Love in Other Words. It's almost four o'clock. I've been reading for like three hours and I finished Love in Other Words. Um, very cute story. I gave it a three and a half stars because it was like a great story, um, but I feel like it was also drab. But it was a good book. Like, I'm not saying that it was like a bad story. Like, I'm not, like, I'm glad that I read it, but I'm also just like, the, all of the characters were just kind of like, all the other characters other than Macy and Elliot were just like drab people. Maybe the dad was kind of fun, but no, but like literally every, like all of their relationships felt like they had zero impact on them and their decisions. Like it was all really just like, okay. I don't know, but it's a good book. It was really okay. I like the story. It was cute. Um, but it's not like outstanding. So three and a half stars. <laughs> oh my God, it's like literally disgusting. Oh, Chris said that away. Chris not on. <laughs> oh my gosh, book update. So, <laughs> My book update today is that I got to part three in The Goldfinch. And I think there's five parts in The Goldfinch. I'm not sure. But I'm on chapter seven. There's 12 chapters. And I know that's not much, but the book is literally 700 pages long. Almost 800. I'm on page 370. I'm on page, I think, 375. Yeah, 375. And that's like real good. I'm hoping to finish that book ASAP Rocky. I've been trying to just like listen to it because it's actually not a bad book to just like listen to while you do whatever. But I've also just been like, I don't know. It's a decent book. I think some things are just like unnecessary for the plot. I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care that much. It's just a story of a boy in a painting. And yeah, if you don't know what the premise of a goldfinch is, it's literally, it's the story of this boy, Theo. He, his mom dies in the beginning of the book. His mom dies and you know, that's very sad. And obviously there's like things that result from that. And he ends up stealing this painting. I think he, ac he accidentally steals this painting from the, and from the museum that blew up and killed his mother. So, oh. 
so he's got this painting and now he just like goes we go through life with him and all of the unfortunate things that happen to him and just everything that's like going on like we just follow him through his life basically okay i'm putting the dust jacket back on the book um, i mean i'm really just excited to never pick this book up again <laughs> you know the goldfinch this book um, was one of the least favorite books I've ever read. <laughs> it was long and it was unnecessary and I do not recommend that you read this book um, unless you really like just like long stories of people's lives and you can get like invested in that because I honestly did not care. I like nothing crazy happened in this book at all. I get two and a half stars. I was just so ready to be done with it with the last like two hours that I sp sat here. Like I had the audiobook and I was like listening to the audiobook the whole time while I was like reading this book. So I had the audiobook on two and a half, like 2.5 speed, like double the speed plus a half of that. Like it was just like, I was just so anxious to get done with this book. But I'm finally done. This is one of those books that I started and didn't, and didn't finish, but now I finished it. And I was I was so close to just like DNFing it. When it was like, I had like maybe 200 pages left and I was like, I wanna DNF this book. But I was like, okay, well I'm this far in because this book is 700 pages long. I was like, okay, well I'm this far into the book. I might as well keep reading. Anyways, the next book that we will be reading is Pride and Prejudice because that is the next book that I've started and have not finished. And that's actually shorter and a little bit, actually I'm more interested in that book than I am in this one. Pride and Prejudice is our next read. I'm also going to be getting through this with an audiobook from Audible. Alright, hey guys. So I just finished Pride and Prejudice. Um, whatever, we're just, let me give you my thoughts on Pride and Prejudice. So, um, first of all, I give it a four out of five stars. Did I hate it? No. Did I like it? Yeah. Did I love it? Absolutely not. Um, this book, there was a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie. And there was a lot of information that I wasn't interested in. I went into this book and all I had interest in was Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy. And that was not even half of the book. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was all about Elizabeth and her family and her relationships. Like, that's just kind of more what it was. Like, it focused a lot more on her relationship with her sisters and her sister's relationships with other people like that is just kind of what it was focused on so basically this book was good and i enjoyed the story and i enjoyed the stories in there um i enjoyed the witty banter yeah now i just wish there was more of it between her and mr darcy because i feel like it would have been funnier half the time they didn't say anything to each other it was like oh yeah and then they found found themselves in silence like what or like they would be talking but we wouldn't get to hear what they talked how they were talking to each other like that's kind of what i want to know like i wanted more of the particulars of their relationship it was more like we saw inside of Elizabeth's thoughts. <laughs> this book, I literally, I said this out loud while I was on a Discord call with my friends and I literally said this book is literally women and men being so confusing and none of them talking to each other in order to make it less confusing. Like communication is key in this book and nobody was communicating. Like, Elizabeth Bennet was sitting there talk talking to herself like, man, I hate Mr. Darcy. But wait, he just got me this letter and he's not that bad. 
like and then it's just a whole thing and then like whenever they would be in the same room as each other it'd be like wow i'm gonna stand here and hope that he comes to me like girl girl boys are stupid like you gotta make yourself known especially if you know that like this guy has already professed his love for you you should have no problem going up to this man and being like hey how are you like just chill out and then she was all disappointed that he never came to talk to her like what and then he was like he made like very fair points like where is this in this book she said something and then he was like well no because you didn't do that like you didn't give me any inclination <laughs> that i should and i was like you guys are literally so bad like if they had just communicated like they would have been married in half the time that they were in this book like if they had communicated it would have been great you know she got all of her information from others and didn't get anything from this man which listen i am at fault in that as well i have been in that situation before once upon a time <laughs> sophomore year and i didn't see much of him after that but it was because you know covid happened this was before covid okay so sophomore year i had kind of been in like i was I was talking to this kid and he was super sweet to me like he was honestly the nicest person ever and I feel really bad but um I heard things from other people and I judged him based on what I had heard from other people and then and now I feel bad because I told him that I didn't want to you know talk to him anymore like whatever he was like, what the heck? That makes no sense. Anyways, I was like, this is genuinely... I'm mean for that. Like, I feel so bad. I do feel bad. I feel really, really bad. And it's all because I took... And I listened to what other people's experiences with him had been. And not my own experience, which had been entirely delightful. But we're going to pick up Wuthering Heads next. And that'll be good. That'll be so good. I have to work tomorrow though, so that's that's gross. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my final updates and then I can finally be done with this video. Um of books that I've started and then haven't finished. I now finished every single one that I had started and not finished. And so we just finished Wuthering Heights. Honestly, it's just weird. I'm sorry, but cousins marrying each other is just strange to me. Like, things just could have been done differently and um, in a shorter way. I honestly have no idea what's, like... <sighs> I read it, though. So that's what we're gonna... That's what we're landing on. I gave it a three stars because it had good lines. And it was intelligent writing. And I, I mean, like, the story was kind of good. But it's considered a classic romance, and maybe I'm missing something. Like, I understand courtship and stuff like that. Like, I understand all of that from, like, that kind of time. But, like, I feel like they talk about the fact that they have romantic passions and stuff like that, but we don't see how that comes to be. I can't say this for, like every single one i could say this for honestly pride and prejudice had it a little bit more than this book did um honestly she just started getting like really over dramatic about stuff and like claiming that she loved him but we don't see anything maybe it's because it was in <sighs> i think i wish that this stuff was in in their point of view because then we can hear like their feelings Nevertheless, I enjoyed Pride and Prejudice more than I enjoyed Wuthering Heights. Um, I felt like Pride and Prejudice captured more of the romance side of things. It really didn't. But, <laughs> like, I still, I'm like, I read, like, modern day romances right now where you get more of that, like, hey, I this is what I feel for this person. And you, like, see that more. Whereas this is like, oh, okay, now I, I realize that I think I love him, like... 
no i do love him and it's like okay but like what how did you realize that i don't know <sighs> Moving on though, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video because I'm gonna move on from this. Yeah.